hi guys so in this video we're gonna see how can we use object as a state inside use state now for that part we are going to create a new file in here so inside our components i'm going to create a new file let's say its name is state hooks 2.js now inside here what we're gonna create we're gonna create an import react from react and now in here i'm just going to use a state hooks state hooks 2 sorry for the improper name <laughs> so now in here i'm going to return a jsx syntax so in here i'm just going to export default this state hooks 2 function now in here i'm going to give a div now inside this div we need the uh, input tag so first of all we need the div tag again and now in here i'm going to give an span giving first name now also we need closing div inside here and here i'm going to give an input tag input tag it has an type text and i'm going to give the name so that we can use this as a key inside uh, handling the state so in here i'm going to give f name just going to close it and the same thing we need for the last name also i'm just going to copy it here and just remove the part in here uh, last name and l name now in here i'm just going to show in the last div i'm just gonna show the content inside this whole uh, input tag now in our app.js i'm just going to what i'm going to do is just comment out and just import this state hooks to the js now we have imported this state hooks we got this first name and last name now yeah let's see how can we use this use state in here so in here what we need we need again I'm just going to keep full name in here is a state in here and we're gonna set the name right so setting the name is a function and in our user state we're gonna provide an object that is f name l name now let's see what we got inside this full name right so just saving it here and just opening this console okay yeah so we got an object right we got an object so we can uh, get the value inside this full name right so i'm just going to extract this structure from here the name that we now want f name and l name and use it here here also so full name now in here i'm just going to display it so f name l name so there is a space so for much uh, clear uh, clarity i'm just going to give it like this so we got this here okay now what we need we need an on change method now this will handle the method right and we're gonna create this handle change our own method just going to copy it and paste in here okay so we haven't created this handle change method right so i'm just going to create a new handle change method and we need this event listener 
in here and just going to destructure again the value that we got is name that is the key maybe f name or l name and the value now from where we we, uh, we will get that is event dot target now this is done now we're gonna dispatch the function now set name now in here as you can see that you cannot use it like this right if you use it like this what will happen that uh, if you change something it will like yeah let's see what happened when you do this now yeah so we got this undefined right we didn't get any data in lm so what happens that whenever you use this part this new object will be created in here and this l name key will be uh, removed from that object so what we can do that uh, we can use the previous object that is the full name that we have initialized and just uh, uh, replace the uh, replace the content inside the key that you want to replace now this is what we need now if i just uh, maybe refresh it again mm, yeah so now let's see what happens okay as you can see here that both uh, key is working perfectly so this is how you can handle an object when you're gonna use this use state now in our next video we're gonna see or learn the use effect hooks and if you can search it and you can see what it is so yeah that's all thanks